Well, hello and welcome to Apartment Wholesaling Live. Uh, my name is Ben Ennis Kerr, and um, what we're going to be doing here is uh, creating 15 to 20 videos over the, the coming few months uh, in order to track the process of uh, wholesaling an apartment building. And I'm uh, not exactly sure how many uh, there will end up being, but in the vicinity of 15 to 20. And uh, with each video just focusing on um, a single discernible stage of the process where we can go into a little bit more detail about uh, what you actually do and, and so you can see the process unfolding in front of you. We're going to use direct mail uh, to create our, our deal flow in order to find uh, a deal to do and uh, we're going to be targeting 2 to 19 units and that's one of the categories of um, uh, in the the list that we get from the assessor's office uh, 2 to 19 units and we're going to focus on uh, the smaller the lower end uh, deals rather than do a, uh, a larger deal because uh, uh, if you're a beginning investor, it's just unlikely you're going to go, you know, straight to doing, you know, flipping 100 units or 200 units, and it's um, it's much more likely that um, the first deal that you focus on is is uh, a smaller deal. You know, I think the reasons are obvious. Uh, they're smaller, they're simpler, there are fewer obstacles along the way uh, through the process of doing the deal. Uh, there's plenty of them out there to mail to. I think I counted on uh, the list I recently got from the assessor. There were 700 odd deals in 700 odd properties in this category. And for the beginning apartment investor, these are just the easiest deals to do uh, to develop the self-belief and, and not be afraid of and, uh, and get through the process so you can build confidence and confidence in yourself and your abilities and and move on to the next deal and, and up the food chain and start doing bigger deals. So as we go through this process uh, and we go through these videos, we'll be using the processes outlined in the apartment wholesaling system. Uh, that's the uh, ebook and the instructional course that I've written about how to wholesale apartment buildings. So we're looking at the, the first page of the apartment wholesaling system ebook here and um, as you can see, I mentioned making $500,000 a year. And uh, something that uh, people who buy the book or considering buying it ask about, is that realistic? Can I really make $500,000 uh, in a single year doing, doing these deals? Well, just to answer that, I just want to point out an experience I had with a deal last year. And this was a 367 unit deal that uh, was brought to me by a broker uh, that I'm working with. And it was a situation where the, the everything had been fine a few years ago, uh, it had been run really well. The owner died, property management went downhill, vacancy went up. Um, there wasn't much wrong with the property at all, very light uh, cosmetic rehab at best, uh, it just had a huge vacancy. And as a result of that, the property couldn't command a very high asking price. So I did the deal analysis uh, as it's outlined in the ebook and uh, we came up with a, a current value of the property about uh, 4.5 million. The, the after repaired value, st fully stabilized value of the property, fully leased up, uh, expenses in line was um, at the current market cap rate for Indianapolis was 11.5 million. I made an offer at 4.25 and that ended up being the highest offer of all of the offers that they had collected. So we, we essentially had the deal and they wanted to go with our offer. Uh, the only uh, twist to that was they wanted the, uh, the inspection done up front and the inspection removed as a contingency so that once I signed the purchase agreement, the earnest money would go hard immediately and there were no outs. So on the strength of that, I, I ended up not doing the deal. But as you can see, if, uh, if, if that condition weren't there and we had a normal situation with an inspection contingency, what we're looking at 
is an $11.5 million after repair value that we are able to buy for $4.25 million. You add $500,000 onto that and we're at $4.75 million. If you're the end buyer looking at 4.75 versus 4.25, that doesn't even that barely even changes the deal. So 500 can you make $500,000 in a year? Well, as you can see here, there's an easy $500,000 profit on a single deal. But obviously, you're not going to go directly to doing a deal at this size and uh, picking up these kinds of assignment fees. You know, that's like uh, you know learning how to surf at a surfing school and then know, going to pipeline at Hawaii and, and attempting to ride a hundred foot wave or something like that. I mean, if you try and do that, I mean, you don't do that if you want to live. It takes a lot. And the only people who do that, like, uh, you know, people like Garrett McNamara, I mean, they, they've been training, they've been working up to that for most of their lives. And um, if you listen to Garrett McNamara talk about that, because he does, and... Um, you know, surfing uh, actually has a lot of parallels uh, with real estate and real estate investing. But when you listen to him talk, uh, he's one of the few people that can that can successfully ride these waves. Uh, he's constantly talking about the fundamentals, mastering the fundamentals, continually focusing on the basics, and, and continually training and mastering the basics. So the things that matter. Uh, when it comes time to ride these waves, he's very fluid with them and he has them mastered and available so that he can rise to the challenge when these waves come. And as it is with apartment investing and apartment wholesaling as well, you have to start at the beginning and master the basics, get the fundamentals down so that you internalize them and you're constantly practicing and training and developing your abilities and along with that your belief in yourself and your belief in your abilities and it grows over time and then over time you raise your sights on the bigger buildings and the bigger assignment fees with, that come with those deals and over time you get there after a while you need these bigger deals in order to you know generate the excitement to to keep going and keep improving anyway and uh, you know and that's part of the process but we're starting at the beginning. That's the end game. And there's absolutely nothing that says you cannot end up there. And in fact, if you continue along this road and dedicate yourself to improving and becoming a, a better apartment investor, a better apartment wholesaler, that's where you end up. That's just where you end up as you improve. Uh, but at the beginning, uh, we're starting with the basics mastering the basics and that's what we're doing with uh, with this video series we want to start with a, a deal that's going to be a fair representation of the the kind of deal you would do as your first deal and then go through the process of doing that deal and just uncovering the basics as we go through that deal and, and showing how it's done so I hope you get a lot out of this and uh, out of the upcoming videos I'm, I'm certainly looking forward to making them and if there's anyone else you know or friends or other people you know of who'd be interested in also learning about um, wholesaling an apartment deal and and uh, just getting this information and, and seeing these videos feel free to share them uh, I would appreciate it but I also would like to be able to help as many people as possible just learn the whole process of apartment investing because I believe very strongly in the just the fundamental soundness of the apartment building as an economic unit and the value that it brings to communities across the country so i think the more people are getting into apartment investing and get really good at it the more the the overall economy uh, is going to benefit as a result so thanks a lot and uh, i really uh, look forward to doing the upcoming videos and um, uh, i'll see you on the next video bye for now